This looks horrible, right? Let me make three quick adjustments. One, two, three. Now this looks much better, right? And from here we have a few choices. We can choose this look. We can choose this look. We can choose this look. Let me take you through this whole process of improving your webcam quality in the video nerd style, which means step by step step what's up everyone the video nerd here and welcome back to the channel before beginning i want to remind you of the fact that i stream every monday wednesday and friday on twitch my link is in the description and i would greatly appreciate it if you would give me a follow and then be there for one of my next streams you can ask questions about streaming i'm showing things that i'm talking about in future videos and i also play some games sometimes with the community so yeah if you're interested in that my link is in the description you can give me a follow and then i'll see you on the next stream if you're trying to improve your webcam quality then maybe you're also on the lookout for a new webcam border or even a complete streaming pack and our sponsor of today which is owned TV can definitely help you with that. They have over 200 completely animated graphic packs which include audio, animated screens, alerts, great looking stinger transitions and much more. My favorite pack by far is the dark mode series. This one looks clean, it's professional, it's very polished and I just love the overall design and animations. For all packs on the own website there's a preview tool which you can use to see how things would look on your stream by triggering alerts, looking at the different screens and all other elements of the pack. Pack. They have a 40% sale going on, but my code TVN gives you 50% instead. So if you are interested in stream graphics, the link to their website is in my description. And don't forget to use code TVN at checkout to slice 50% of your price. So what you just saw me doing in the intro was a combination of better lighting, adding some color effects, and then applying a LUT. And for those thinking, what even is a LUT? Well, it stands for look up table. Simply said, it's just a color grading preset, which we're applying to our webcam to give it a different look. I made a bunch of those presets for this video and you can download them for free on my Gumroad but that's not for now, it's for later in the video because right now we first need to fix our webcam. Applying those LUTs or those presets to a webcam that doesn't look good in the first place will only make it worse. I see people buying a webcam and then getting an image that looks like this. Now then their image is way too dark so they add a bunch of gain and then it looks like this and they're not happy with the result. Then they buy a much more expensive camera and that image looks just the same. I mean this image right here is filmed with a really expensive DSLR and it looks looks pretty horrible, right? The only problem we have right here is the lights. Now let's reduce all that gain that I added before to show this example. So this is the basic image, right? It's too dark. But now let me add one light and right now it looks kind of good. So the difference between low light and then adding gain, which was this, and then the same footage without the extra gain but with lights, which is this. Now that's a big difference, right? So instead of investing in an expensive camera or an RGB keyboard, most people should just buy one or two cheap softboxes. They make a world of a difference and if you can't afford that, no problem, then just look for something else in your house that can light up your face. Even if it's a desk lamp or something in your living room which has a lamp, just put it behind your camera, aim it at your face and it will be better than without any lights pointing towards you. But of course, getting some cheap softboxes is the best solution. I will look for some good deals on Amazon with the different price ranges and I will put them in the description because lighting is really important. So if you don't have extra lights and you're a streamer, please check them out and see if you can afford them. By the way, this is also a great solution. This is an LED light that I got like five years ago for 25 or 30 bucks. I will also put some options for this in the description. Oh yeah, there's also a free solution, which is daylight, but uh, <laughs> I don't really like daylight. Not sure about you. I completely forgot about that, but feel free to install your desk in front of your window and stream during the daytime. Okay, and no one's gonna do that. So getting good lighting obviously is a first step. I think that's clear by now. But once you've upgraded your lights or you know you're going to, you might be looking into upgrading your webcam. Now I'm not going into detail on webcams and DSLRs in this video, but there definitely are a lot of good options in all price ranges for both webcams and DSLR combos. So I will put some options in the description and I will make a list. I'm using this switch as a cam link and which allows me to connect my camera to my computer through an HDMI cable. That way I can stream using my DSLR which gives amazing quality. But if you're going to spend money on upgrading your stream then keep in mind first a better microphone 
then some softboxes or LED panels, and then a better webcam. Now the next step for making your webcam look better is fixing the brightness, then adding some contrast, and then increasing the saturation. And we can do this in both OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. I will use Streamlabs OBS since that's what most of my viewers are using. I quickly made an empty scene right here, so I can just click on the plus icon, then video capture device, and then add my webcam. So I hope it will work. There we go. Let's right click it, transform, fit to screen so we can clearly see what's happening. Now click on your webcam, then right click it, go to filters, click on the plus icon and then choose color correction filter. Now click on done and here we can do a bunch of stuff. Now please do not copy my settings exactly because this is different for everyone. We are fixing how our webcam looks, how our lights are looking, increasing brightness, removing it, adding color, removing color, stuff like that. So it's different for everyone. I'm going over this whole process step by step, but please do not copy my sliders. Do things for your own till it looks good on your screen. Now let's move this window right over here so we can see everything clearly. And the first thing you should change is the brightness. Now most of the time I increase the brightness a bit right here. Not because this image needs more brightness because it's actually too bright already, but because adding brightness, as you see when I do it too much, gives it this kind of overlay, this kind of washed out look. So as you see, when I increase the brightness a bit, like something like this, and then I reduce the gamma, which is like clearly how much exposure there is. So if I reduce this a bit, you will see that this look is much different from before. Let me disable this effect and now let me enable it. So my face doesn't change that much. It becomes kind of washed out. But when you look at the edges, if I disable it and enable it, it's a bit of a difference and I like the look of it. But as I already said, this is personal, but let me go over these sliders. When you want to delete an effect, which I want to do right now, you can click on it and then click on the minus icon and then it's gone. So let's click on plus. Let's make a new effect, color correction. Okay, let's move it here. And now let me explain this to you. So these are the steps that I usually take. I increase the brightness a bit. I fix the gamma, so if it's too dark, I move this up. If it's too bright, I move this a bit down till it's kind of okay. And then I increase the contrast a bit and that gives it a more popping look. So the colors are popping more as you see when I disable the effect or I enable it. Now do not add too much contrast because if you go overboard with it, you see what happens. This is not what you want. Don't increase it to make this red more red, for example, because that's something we want to do afterwards. Now, the next thing you can do after the contrast is adding some saturation, and this will actually make your colors more colorful. As you see right now, these are much better colors than before. Let me disable this effect and now let me enable it. Look at this difference, that's huge. Then if your image looks way too blue or way too orange, you can fix that with this hue shift slider. Now, because of my colored lights, when I do this, the color of the light will actually change and I'm doing this too much, right? But with this, you can make minor adjustments. Let's put it to zero again. So the end result of this looks pretty good. It's a big difference, but I've done this really quick. It's a bit too saturated for me right now, but you can play with these sliders till it looks good, till the brightness is all right, the contrast, the colors play with these sliders. Now, if you want to give a completely different look to your webcam, you can also use LUTs, which are presets like I explained in the beginning of this video. And you can find the free pack of that on my Discord. So let me quickly show you when you go to my Discord, there is a channel which is called Webcam LUTs. And then right here, there's a download link. So when you click on it, you go to Google Drive. Let me actually show you that right here it is. And instead of downloading it right here one by one, because some people don't know this, you can click on this download button on the top right and then it will download one folder. So then here are the LUTs, they are downloaded. Let's go to my files and let me show you how to open it. So when I go to downloads, I can right click on this, go to 7-zip. If you don't have a program like 7-zip, you can just download it for free and then you just click extract here. Then it will start unpacking them and right now we have a folder with 10 LUTs right here and now we need to go back to OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. So let's open these two windows. Let's close this right now because we need the filters again. So let's right click it, go to filters and right now we want to add a new filter and we want to choose apply LUT. Now click on done and then right here we can browse for it. So let's click on that 
and then let me drag this window over here let me go to the downloads to the tvn LUTs folder right here we have all the LUTs and my favorite is the 10th so i will import that right now i will open it i will reduce it completely let's move this aside and then as you see the amount is how strong the LUT will be so you can increase this and this will completely change your colors and the way that your image will look all these LUTs are completely different some will work for your webcam and some will not some will look bad let's try LUT 4 for example let's see so when we move it to zero this is the original image and now let's increase this a bit and this is how it makes it look to be honest for me this just makes the saturation go away so for me this doesn't look good but maybe when you apply this LUT because of your lighting conditions and stuff like that it makes your thing look better so this is how we apply LUTs and again they are free on my discord right here free stuff webcam LUTs click this link download them and then you can apply these LUTs right here and test this out now one extra thing when you use these LUTs, the best thing is to remove the color correction, then apply a LUT first and get some basic look that you want, and then add a new color correction and then start editing from there. The reason for this is that a LUT will completely change the way your colors look. So if you are increasing your saturation and changing the look of your colors and stuff like that, and then you add a LUT on top of that, it can look completely wrong. So it's better to take your standard colors, apply a LUT, take a look that you like, and then fine tune with another color correction filter. If you have any questions about all this or in general about streaming, I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on Twitch. So you can come in the stream, ask a question, we will talk about it. People in the chat are also really supportive. I'm loving my community that I'm building on Twitch. So if you wanna join me on Twitch, be there for some fun streams or for some information doesn't matter the link to my twitch channel is in the description you can give me a follow and then you will get notified the next time i go live if you made it this far into the video then please give a like to this video because it really helps me to rank higher in the algorithm and placing a comments is even two times better so i would really appreciate it thanks a lot for watching and i hope to see you in my next video or on my stream have a nice day Okay. Okay. <laughs> when she's fat is so funny, man. <laughs>